What's going on YouTubers? I'm gonna make a different video today. I wanna make a how to make a Detroit style pizza. I've been, I've made probably 50 of these and I feel like I've perfected it. And there's not a lot of videos or you know information on how to make a really good homemade pizza. And this in my opinion is the best you can make. So what you're gonna need is a authentic Detroit style pan. I'll include a link in the description. So this is about eight, by 10 inches, I believe. Uh, so this is a seasoned pan, you never wanna wash it. The dough I like to use is from Trader Joe's. It's a garlic and herb pizza dough. And I use about 70% of this. So not all of it, because it's too much for this pan. And then for the cheese, I use this Costco cheese. It's provolone sliced, belgioso. So I just use sliced provolone. For the pepperoni, we're gonna use Margarita brand pepperoni stick. And we're gonna chop this thin and finely. For the pizza sauce, we're gonna use San Marzano pizza sauce. And then for the pan, it has to be well greased, so we're gonna use the this organic extra virgin olive oil with a dash of garlic. I feel like that gives it a really good flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and make this pizza. I'm gonna chop up some of this and start prepping it and I'll show you how to get this done. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna oil up this pan. So you wanna have a good amount of oil in this pan, you know, and then spread it around. You wanna get all the corners. Make sure it's a well-oiled pan because that's gonna help create a good flavor with it. And then so to get the dough, it's best if your hand's just a little bit greasy so you can get this dough out. So it does stick. I actually like to deal with cold dough. I feel like it's easier, doesn't stick as much. If this was warm, it'd be sticking all over this bag. So like I said, we're not gonna use all the dough, so I'm gonna you know, take off about that much from it and just put that to the side. And then you're gonna wanna start to wanna stretch the dough a little bit before you put it in the pan. So it's gonna be easier. Because so when you put it in the pan and it's cold, it tends to like shrink. Once you put it in the pan, you're just simply going to use your hand. As you can see, it shrinks, but you just got to keep doing this. And you want the crust to go directly against it. So you got to press it against the corners like this and just keep doing it. You know, use some muscle. You know, some oil will get on top, which is fine. But you just got to keep doing this. It might take, you know, possibly even five minutes to really get this against the wall, but you really wanna make sure that the dough is touching the side of the pan. If it's not, then it's not gonna create that really good flavor you need. So you just gotta keep pressing it, press it against the corners like so. Just keep going around, pressing it to the corner like so. Trust me, this is how you make a really good homemade pizza. So just keep pressing it until it eventually stays. It's very important that the crust is touching the edge of the pan because that's gonna give a nice crispy, you know, delicious flavor. You know, especially in the corners, that's where it shrinks back. So you really gotta press it up against. And eventually, as you can see, it's starting to finally stay and it's gonna give us this really awesome flavor. See, so just about done. Just a few corners. Just like that. So you see, the crust is perfectly in the pan. It's, you know, going against the edges. It might shrink a little bit, but you just gotta keep pressing it until it's perfect. So now, the next part of what we're gonna do is add the sauce. So you can do sauce one of two ways on this. You can either put it on top of the pizza, which is a more traditional way, but I actually just prefer to put it on the pizza itself. So we're gonna take our San Marzano. I like to put a lot of sauce as well. I feel like it tastes better when you do, you know, like a good portion of sauce. So, and make sure you do preheat the oven to about 525 degrees. That's gonna, that's how we're gonna cook this bad boy. So the sauce you wanna spread throughout the entire pizza. There is no crust on this bad boy. So it has to be well sauced, you know. 
This pizza sauce is really delicious. It's an authentic Italian pizza sauce and it's gonna taste awesome. Now you can even use the thing like that. You really gotta make sure that that crust is touching the corners. It's very important to give it a good flavor. So now that we got the sauce on, next we're gonna do the sliced cheese. Now for the cheese, you know, obviously it's sliced, so it's gonna be very easy to do this. So this is just sliced provolone. It makes it a lot easier. You can even push the cheese into the crust. It's gonna help keep that crust there. And it's very important that the entire pan is covered in cheese especially the corners. You know, like I put extra cheese, I fold it like this and put it right there. Get it nice and cheesy. Gotta make sure it's up against the edge like that. You know, fold it. You can do, you know, a lot of different types of cheeses, but I feel like provolone has the best flavor. All right, so we got one more slice of cheese and that should be good. Now fold it up like this, so it's like almost quadruple, and put that in the corner like that. It's gonna give it a nice, cheesy, caramelized crust. You know, maybe do a little bit extra in the middle, on these edges, like so. So, <clears throat> just like that. Now the pepperoni, I sliced it very thin, so you want it about this thin. And we're just gonna cover the entire pizza with this pepperoni. By doing the this size, it actually is called cup of char pepperoni. So when it's cup of char pepperoni, you're actually get it's gonna curl up and form a nice crispy pepperoni, and it's just gonna taste amazing. And you want to put a lot on here; it just tastes super good. And after this, you're really ready to just put this in the oven. Now the temperature and where you put this in the oven is crucial to how this tastes. So like I said, you know, do max temperature on your oven. For my oven, that's 525 degrees. And then you have to cook it on the bottom rack for 11 to 12 minutes, between that range. You do it any shorter or longer, you're either gonna burn it or undercook it. So I'm just gonna, you know, put this pepperoni all throughout the pizza. And then we'll throw this bad boy in the oven. And we're gonna have a delicious Detroit style pizza. So there you go. So this is the before. Now we're gonna pause the video, cook the pizza. Alrighty, so the pizza's in the oven. Got about four minutes left. You can see the pepperonis have been nice and like curling upwards. And as you can hear that oil just sizzling that crust, creating a beautiful crust. So well, here's the pizza, got it out. Now, uh, first thing we need to do, use a spatula, and you gotta get it against, the cr uh, basically take it out like this. So you can do a metal spatula, plastic. You just wanna get it like this. As soon as you get this to all edges, this is gonna come out nice and easy. You wanna make sure you, you know, don't ruin the crust, because that is one of the reasons this is gonna taste so amazing. Now then you get the spatula underneath and let it come out. Behold. So you can see that nice crispy crust on the side. The pepperoni's curled up, it's crispy, it's delicious. There's like a, almost a pocket of grease. And you wanna look at the side, you look at that crust. That is what's gonna give it all of its flavor. You know, so now we just gotta cut this bad boy. Now you can cut it multiple ways. I just use a pizza cutter that creates four big slices enough for two people. So there you have it. This thing is gonna taste absolutely amazing. It tastes great with ranch by itself. I highly recommend you try this. If you're a big you know, pizza lover like me, you know, making it homemade is much cheaper, it's fun. You know, this pizza costs maybe $2 to make and it tastes absolutely amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, have a great day.